Okay, so this is just an intro lesson to nouns and to case. Um, so if you already know like what a subject is, what an object is, and, and what a possessive is, you can skip over it. But it still might be kind of helpful. Okay, so uh, for me, I didn't get case very well at all. I didn't have much of an English background. So we're actually going to start in English. Um, I presume that's what most of my viewers <laughs> know as their language. So we're going to start by asking the question, what's the difference between he, him, and his... I, me, and my, and then they, them, and their. What's the difference between these three um, groups of words within, the, within their group? Like, I know this is third person singular, and this is first person singular, and this is third person plural. But what's the difference? Like, he, him, and his. And the difference is how the words function in their sentences. Okay, so think of it this way. Um, here we go. He swung the cane. He swung the cane. He is the subject of the sentence. It can only be the subject of the sentence or its clause. It can't be anything else. It must be the subject. And just a refresher, that means it's the one that's doing the action. That's the one that's doing the action, the subject of the sentence. He. Same thing with I, right? I swung the cane. Me can't swing the cane. Him can't swing the cane. No. Same thing with they, right? They swing the cane. Them swing the cane. They swing the cane. No, that's not right. So what we see is that all of these words on the top line are fossils from the way English used to be. That is to say, there were forms of the word that showed us what they did in the sentence. I has to be a subject. He has to be a subject. They has to be a subject. They can't be anything else. In the same way, let's look at the second pairing of words on the horizontal, right? Him, me, and them. They have to be objects. They have to be objects, either direct objects or indirect objects. We'll get into that later. Okay, but they have to be objects. They can't be the subject, and they can't be what's called the possessive. We'll get to there in a second, okay? So him. I hit him with the cane. The teacher hit me with the cane. The teacher struck them with the cane. They must be the objects. They must be the objects. They cannot be the subject, and they can't be possessive. When I look at him, I can see it has to be the object. When I look at me, I see me has to be an object. When I look at them, I know them has to be the object. Last one. So if our first one is the subject, our second one is the object. The object. It must receive the action. It must receive the action or be an object of a preposition. But don't worry about that. The last one, think about this. His, my, and their. And hopefully you're already ahead of me and you realize, oh, that's possession. That shows possessive. Possession. Okay, so I'll write that up. Possession. While I'm writing it, thank you so much for your comments. That's why I'm trying to write it in big, thick letters so you can see it on the tape. So possession. It shows possession. It's his cane. It's my cane. It's their cane. So there it's not right. His isn't a subject. His went to the park. No. Him's not a subject. Him went to the park. No. He has to be the subject. Same thing here, right? So we can run that and realize in ancient English, so to speak, if English is considered an ancient language, right? Um, it was a case language. And here's kind of what we can see when we talk about case. Let's actually look at they, them, and their, because it's probably the clearest example. When we look at they, them, and their, we see what's different about they, them, and their. Well, what's different is the ending. What's different is the ending. So when I look at they, right, I can see the Y ending is different from the M ending, which is different from the possessive IR ending. They, them, and their. So that, if I can say it this way, the root is the same, but the ending is different. And you can kind of see that with he, him, and his as well, right? Him, his. I can see that based on the form of the word, I know how it's going to function in the sentence. That is, every time I see he, I can tell just because it's he, it must be the subject. You've got to, we've got to understand that or we can't understand case. 
because case is all about the ways that the endings show us the function. The endings show us the function. Just like me, it has to be an object. My, it has to be a possessive. Okay? So once you've got this, you're ready for the next bit. Okay? They, them, and there. And you might take a second, you might take a second between the videos to really wrap your mind around a subject, the thing that produces the action, the object, the thing that receives the action, either directly or indirectly, or via a preposition, or I know, all the other ways it can, or it possesses something, it shows ownership. Okay? All right, if you've got that, you're good to go for it in lap.